everybody that knows me knows I'm not a violent person. My little brother, I have a, well, he's 10 years old now, and he has all of his friends come over a lot, and they know me real good, and they know I've never did nothing like that. Because I'll lend them my games and stuff like that, you know, or I'll let them come to my room and play my Super Nintendo anytime they want, you know. Let's be nice to them. I've never done anything really violent to anybody. I've had fights with people, but everybody's done that, had a fight. I just couldn't go hurt nobody deliberately like that. When I heard the news about these deaths, I was glad it wasn't my brother, but then I was sad because I wouldn't want anybody going through what they went through. You know. In the future, when I get out of here, I know I'm going to get out. It's going to be very different. I have to, people's going to see me different. And like, like somebody on the street sees me and recognizes me, they're going to say, Whisper to a friend there, hey, that's the kid that was in jail for killing those three West Memphis boys or stuff like that all the time. You know? it's, I'm a, probably have to move out of my old neighborhood. The people that knew me before I got arrested, you know, they'll probably be glad that I didn't get convicted. People that knew me real well, it's the people that didn't know me real well, they'll probably want to, they'll probably think I'm guilty anyway, you know, not hear my side story. And they'll probably want to get me because courts couldn't get me and all this. It's gonna be pretty. Life's probably gonna be pretty tough for me.